Hello everyone and welcome back to ASP.NET Core 1.0. My name is Syed Musa Kalim and in this video we are going to talk about ASP.NET Core MVC login pages using Entity Framework Core. So let's get started without any further delay. In this video I'm gonna show you how we can create a database for the register and login pages in ASP.NET or MVC application and as you can see I have created my detail context already here and this is the database context this is the constructor and I have created two classes one is contact and one is sign up in this sign up class I have created some properties that is email address username and password and ID so these are some properties and this is my login page so for the new developers for the beginners I would highly recommend you to go through with this docs docs.asp.net to get started with entity framework core as you can see getting started with asp.net core using entity framework core and in this we are going to select new database so these are the steps to install entity framework core in your asp.net core mvc application so go through these steps and install entity framework core in your application I'm going to show you how I have installed entity framework I have added dependencies in our project.json folder here microsoft.entity framework core.sql server designer so these are some dependencies we have to install before getting started with entity framework core and I have already set up my application and I have already uh, created my database in my application as you can see this is my detail context these are my two database sets one is for contact and one is for sign up and this is my login page and this is my sign up class sign up page and this is contact class in this contact class I have created an uh, ID property and first name last name and phone number so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this application and show how we can sign up to this application and how we can log in into this application so let's do this let's run this application For setting up your project to uh, install Entity Framework Core, go through this website, to go through these documents and follow these steps. You could easily install Entity Framework Core in your MVC application. As you can see, the steps are mentioned over here. So go through with that. Yeah, our application is ready let's give the controller name first and sign up page I'm gonna sign up on this page let's give email address as angular at the rate gmail.com username is ionic and password is let's sign up Ionic successfully is registered as you can see the message on the sign up page that I have shown this message over here in this view back dot message if the view back dot message not equals to null then show this message 
this user successfully registered to our application let's sign up using this login credentials let's provide angular at the gmail.com slash password is yes let's log in yeah you can see login successfully it is redirecting to the page logged in which we have created here in the views folder in the details logged in simply I am showing a basic message after logging in that is logged in you can see here so let me show you how I have installed entity framework core in my application these are the dependencies which we have already included in the project.json folder and in the startup.cs class you need to configure it yeah you need to give connection string this is the connection string you can get it from the SQL Server object explorer this is the connection string and the properties you can get over here yeah this is the connection string so copy this connection string and paste it here in the connection variable and I have added this connection string in the services add db context detail context op options dot use SQL server connections and in the configure method I have ensured created I have take this parameter as detail context and in the context I am ensuring that my database is already created or not making sure the users that the, our database is ready for the use or not so these are the two steps you need to do while installing entity framework or in your startup.cs class and this is all about the login page using entity framework core hopefully you did enjoy this video Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like this uh, like this and share this video.